for My Favorite Husband, starring Lucille Ball. Yes, it's the Gay Family Series, starring Lucille Ball with Richard Denning as Liz and George Cooper, two people who live together and like it. As we look in on the Coopers, it's morning, and we find Katie, the maid, in the kitchen. Liz Cooper is just coming into the room. Good morning, Katie. Good morning, Mrs. Cooper. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Hold it, Katie. This is not my birthday. It is? No. Oh, dear, and I already put a candle in your grapefruit. <laughs> Too bad. I can't understand how I made that mistake. When is your birthday, anyway? Never. Huh? I had my last birthday a year ago today. Oh, you've reached that point, huh? It's awful. I never realized it, Katie. Today I'm 33. That's more than halfway to 35. I'm practically 40. <laughs> I know. Well, if you aren't going to celebrate, I better not bake your cake. I should say not. I don't want anything to even remind me that it's my birthday. All right. Hmm. What can I do about George? What do you mean? How can I possibly keep him from remembering it's my birthday? I just don't tell him. <laughs> Katie, that's mean. Why, my birthday is the most important day in the year to George. Liz, where are you, honey? I'm out here in the kitchen, dear. You just watch the fuss he makes. Oh, there you are. I've been looking all over the house for you. You have, my little husband. What for? Uh, you know what day this is, don't you? Why, no. What day is it? It's Saturday. I told you to call a plumber last Wednesday. <laughs> the bathroom basin is stopped up again. Ooh. <laughs> is there anything else? No. Oh, yes. What? I'm late for the bank. I'll just skip breakfast. Goodbye, dear. Oh, George? Yes, dear? Uh. Katie, <laughs> hey, how can I hear Liz with you making all that racket? Sorry. Yeah, what is it, Liz? I'm in a hurry. Nothing. Oh, well, goodbye, dear. Bye. <laughs> Mrs. Cooper, you said you didn't want him to remember. I didn't. I wanted him to forget about my birthday. But he forgot about my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Cooper, you've been crying for an hour now. That won't help any. He doesn't love me anymore. Oh. Mrs. Cooper, a husband forgetting his wife's birthday is absolutely normal. <laughs> it is? <laughs> it's a male characteristic like baldness and egotism. <laughs> so what? Well, a smart wife always drops a hint at least three shopping days before her birthday. Well, it's too late for me to do that with George. I know. I'll call up Mr. Atterbury and drop a hint, and then he'll mention it to George. Good idea. Now, how can I just hint at it? I know. I'll tell... Sheridan Falls, First National Bank. Mr. Atterbury, please. One moment. Hello? Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to a close relative of your handsome boss, vice president. Happy birthday to me. Hello? Hello? I think we have a bad connection. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. 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 Happy bir
send for me, Mr. Atterbury? Yes, George boy. I just had the weirdest phone call. <laughs> Who was it? I don't know. Well, was it a man or a woman? I don't know. <laughs> it sounded something like this. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to a close relative of your handsome blonde vice president. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> A close relative of mine. Gee, I wonder who it can be. Do you have any relatives who come from Mars? <laughs> no. And it isn't Liz's birthday. Are you sure? Oh, I know Liz. If it was her birthday, she'd never have let me out of the house without telling me. True. Yeah, but besides, Liz's birthday is June the 3rd. Or is it February the 8th? Or is that our wedding anniversary? Well, I know they're both in the spring sometime. Close relative. Uh, how did that voice sound again? Happy birthday, happy birthday. Of course, mother. Mother? <laughs> Your mother would pull a trick like that? Yeah, she gets pretty cute sometimes. Oh, cute, cute. <laughs> well, I, I'm glad she called. I, I'll have to run out and buy her something. And arrange a little surprise party for her. Uh, go ahead, boy. I'll be in uh, Miller's department store if you want me. Uh, pardon me, miss. Uh, will you wait on me? Yes, sir. And, oh, hello, Mr. Cooper. What? I remember you from the other day when you were here with your wife. <laughs> She was looking at coats, and you were looking at prices. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, well, uh, I'd like to buy a little birthday present and uh, have it sent out to the house. Certainly. What would you like? Well, it's hard to decide, but uh, I think a nightgown would be nice. Yes, sir. <laughs> I suppose you want something sheer and lacy and invitingly feminine. Well, uh, no, I, I think you'd better make it long flannel. <laughs> yeah. You've been married quite a while, haven't you? <laughs> what? Nothing, nothing. I've got just the thing, Mr. Cooper. I'll send it out this afternoon. Do you want to put a card in? Uh, yes. Uh, do you have one? Uh-huh, there on the desk. Okay. Uh, just send it out this afternoon. Oh, by the way, uh, do you have a bakery in the store? Bakery? No. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, here's the card. Mm. Well, I'd better get going. I have to find a cake that will hold 65 candles. <laughs> so long. <laughs> Bye. 65 candles. Long flannel nightgown. <laughs> I only hope I look that good at her age. <laughs> Come in. Hi, Mr. Atterbury. Liz, girl, come in. What brings you to the bank? Oh, nothing special. I just wanted to know if George got a certain message. A certain message? Um, uh, happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Oh, of course, of course. You called and I gave George the message, and he ran right out to buy some presents for you. George Cooper. He's there, not... No, no, no. Cooper. C. 
C-O-O-P-E. Hello. Hello, hello. 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 I'm waiting for Mr. Cooper. Who's this? Oh, Mr. Cooper, school. Oh. I waited on him. Can I help you? No, no, I have... Wait a minute. You waited on him? Uh-huh. He, he bought a gift. What was it? A long flannel nightgown. Oh, God! <laughs> you said it, Buster. <laughs> what? Sir. Have you sent that out yet? Oh, no, sir. We'll just leave it. Good, good. Change it. Send, um... Oh, I wonder what Liz would like. You mean his wife? Yes, yes. He was looking at a suede jacket she was just crazy about. Good. Change that nightgown to the suede jacket and send it out to Cooper's right away. Yes, sir, right away. Goodbye. Goodbye. Miss Perkins. Yes, sir? I'm going out. I have to find George Cooper. He thinks it's his mother's birthday, but it's his wife. for me too long. Uh, thank you. Who was it, Katie? A package from Miller's department store. Looks like a gift. Oh, it's my birthday present. Gimme, gimme, gimme. But it's addressed to Mr. Cooper. Of course. He doesn't want me to know. Well, I'll put it in the hall closet. Uh... Let me see it. Do you, do you think it's a dress? Well, are you going to open it? Of course not. I wouldn't do a thing like that. Oh, look, Katie, it's a suede jacket. Oh, I see. It's the very one I've been looking at. Oh, that darling, wonderful husband of mine. Oh, he certainly is thoughtful. Oh, Katie, do you need anything at the store? I just have to wear this someplace. How about a dozen eggs? No, we already have two dozen in the refrigerator. Well, I'll get you another dozen. I want to wear this jacket to the store. All right, I'll start getting dinner ready. Well, what are we having for dinner? The biggest omelet in the world. <laughs> oh, I'll be back in a little while. Mr. Atterbury's office? Is he there, Miss Perkins? I want to tell him I won't be back for a while yet. I had trouble finding a cake that will hold 65 candles. Well, and he's not here, Mr. Cooper. He's out looking for you. Me? What for? Well, he said something about it not being your mother's birthday. It's your wife. My wife? Oh, my God. They, they delivered the nightgown I bought for my mother, and if I know Liz, she'll open it. Oh, dear. Oh, well, there's only one thing for me to do. I'll go home and see if I can sneak it out before she sees it. Uh, goodbye. No one in the kitchen. Let's see, now she always puts packages in the hall closet. Yeah, yeah, the hall is clear. Now, if that flannel nightgown is only in... Oh, oh, that must be Liz. I'll, I'll have to hide in the closet. I better put this jacket back in the closet before George gets home. Back you go, little present. Oh, that must be George. I don't want him to catch me with this. I'll hide in the closet. Mrs. Cooper? Mr. Cooper? Only Katie. Yeah. What? What? to get the present I sent you and exchange it for a better one. What? I should say not. Oh, but honey, you I are... have a confession to make, George. I opened the present you sent. It's just what I wanted. It is? Absolutely. <laughs> it's the same one I was looking at the other day. You're not kidding me, Liz. Of course not. I put it on right away. <laughs> you did? This afternoon? Why not? 
I was so eager to show it off, I wore it down to the market. <laughs> you wore it? Oh, Liz, that isn't quite the thing to wear to the market. Well, I know I shouldn't have worn it shopping, but I just couldn't resist. <laughs> Didn't people stare at you? They couldn't keep their eyes off me. <laughs> I'll bet they couldn't. <laughs> oh, that cute little cashier wouldn't let me alone until I took it off and let her try it on. <laughs> you took it off? In the market? Don't worry, George. She was careful. <laughs> That's not what I was worried about. I, I hope you didn't catch cold. Cold? No. As a matter of fact, on the way home, I was so warm, I took it off and carried it over my arm. <laughs> mind. Didn't you notice that a crowd was following you? Crowd? Oh, George, it's a nice suede jacket, but it wouldn't cause that much fuss. Suede jacket? Uh, you were wearing a suede jacket? Of course. Don't you know what you gave me? Well, sure, a suede nightgown. Uh, a jacket. Uh, oh, well, happy birthday, Liz. Thank you. George, boy, there you are. I've been looking all over town for you. Oh, hi, Mr. Atterbury. You're just in time to see the birthday present George gave me. Good, good. There's nothing smarter looking than a suede jacket. I'll get it out of... How did you know? <laughs> yeah, how did you know? I don't know. Just lucky, I guess. <laughs> about it all week. Yeah. Really? Oh, George, and I thought you'd forgotten. Oh, don't be silly. Oh, honey, you're so wonderful. I, I don't know why I ever mistrusted you. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> Give me a kiss. <laughs> I'll get my present out of the closet. What's going on here? I called up the store and told them to switch presents. Oh, thanks. Oh, gee, you really saved the day. <laughs> She'll never suspect I thought it was Mother's birthday. I wonder who... Oh, no. What's the matter? The surprise party. I invited some of my mother's friends. I'll get rid of them. I'll get the door. Yeah. Too late, boy. Surprise! Surprise! Oh, Mrs. Martin. <laughs> and Miss Lenoy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Miss Cooper. Happy birthday to you. Well, thank you, but I... Are we here too soon? What do you mean? Well, where is... Happy birthday. But what we'd like to know is where is our Happy friend? birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Liz. Happy birthday to you. They sure sing a lot, don't they? made a boo-boo. <laughs> if we want to get in on this party, we'll have to play ball with old Dreyke. Will someone please tell me what's going on here? Oh, nothing, dear, nothing. We just came to your party. <laughs> well, that was very nice of you. Oh, and you brought presents for me? Well, all right, here. <laughs> Thank you. That one's for me. Oh, thank you. 
Look, George, just what I need. An embroidered nightcap. <laughs> uh, yes, it's lovely. Let's see what the other one is. Well, a hot water bottle. <laughs> it's, it's wonderful for your lumbago. Lumbago? What makes you think I have lumbago? Doesn't everybody? <laughs> Keep it, dear. You will. <laughs> well, thanks, anyway. Oh, oh, by the way, George, uh, we went round back and gave Katie the cake. Oh, no. Well, we would have brought it in, but we couldn't get near it. Uh, the heat, you know. <laughs> And I seen my eyebrows. Well, it, it's just as well. Did you get a cake for me, George? Did you, well, well, uh... Turn out the lights. I'm coming in with the cake. Oh. Okay, bring her in. Here I come. Oh, God, look at the candle. Katie, what happened? You look like you're on fire. I ain't seen a blaze like that since the Chicago Fire. <laughs> I'll try. Almost. It's only about 20 more. Uh, six more. Well, wait till it comes around again. I'm dizzy. There. One, two, three... Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, sixty-five candles. What's going on, George? Well, it, you, you see, these friends of your mother's embroidered nightcaps, hot water bottles, sixty-five candles. Well, yes. I might as well. <laughs> well, it worked, Mister Cooper. Huh? What worked? Uh, I told Mister Cooper that you felt that you were getting old and. Uh, he figured if he gave you a real old ladies' party, it'd uh, uh, make you see how young you really are. Yes! understand me, don't you? That's the sweetest thing a husband ever did. I don't get it. <laughs> don't ask any questions. You might louse things up. <laughs> Besides, that cake looks mighty tasty. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, Liz? Wonderful and thoughtful and sweet you are. I'm even going to wear it to bed tonight. <laughs> it's silly. Oh, well, I am. Oh, what's this? Oh, a card, and I didn't even see it. Uh-oh. Uh, did you change the card, too, Mr. Atterbury? What card? <laughs> oh, George, I can't keep anything from you, can I? Huh? You even knew I'd be silly enough to wear the jacket to bed. Look, Mr. Atterbury, the card says, Hope this keeps you warm in bed tonight. Uh. <laughs> My 
My Favorite Husband has been presented through the worldwide facilities of the United States Armed Forces Radio and Television Service. <laughs>